Hey, I'm Mani Krishna. Uh, I'm here, uh, of course, uh, you, you asked me the question why I'm looking at Obama. Yeah. Uh, you know, I feel at this point of time there needs to be a fundamental change in terms of the politics in this country after eight years of Clinton and eight years of Bush. So, my feeling is there are some new policies and new approaches that are needed. And I feel uh, Obama's ability to energize the population and the younger population will be much suited to make the kind of changes that our country needs at this point of time. What are those changes? Well, you know, one of the things that I definitely like about the fact that uh, uh, the kind of money that he has raised is much more broad-based, small contributions. He is not beholden uh, to any of the vested interests which control most of the policies and the legislation in this country. So that is one big change. And the fact that uh, he had the fortitude to vote against the war when it mattered is very important to me. So those are two. So one is small business, second is his support for his uh, no, non opposition. Non-support for it, yeah. Okay, and what, are the, what, what about health and other issues? No, health and other issues, I think uh, uh, definitely Hillary, the fact that they tried to do something uh, very substantial when uh, Hillary, uh, 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 when uh, Bill was uh, the president is definitely something which I will give great credit to Hillary because of the fact that they thought about it at that point of time. The health care in this country, even though it is one of the best in the world, has to be revamped so that the common population is not affected and people don't go bankrupt. Uh, and tell me, how, what has been the support from the Indian community here in the valley, Silicon Valley, for Obama? Uh, I would say at this point of time, because of uh, Hillary has definitely got a, a better edge as far as the Indian community is concerned. Okay. You know, but Obama, I don't think, tried for the Indian community as hard as Hillary had already done. What about the Republican support from the uh, Indian community? Here? The Indian community, Republican support, I would say probably 15 to 20 percent. So you're saying about 80 percent is Democrats? 80 percent is Democrats. Okay. And you're you know, any reasonable person thinking will vote Democrat. <laughs> And in your district, uh, where are people leaning? Uh, in my district, uh, again, uh, based on uh, the primary, uh, as I understand it, the, it was a 50-50 split. Okay. It was a 50 -50 so it's a very clear... Uh, uh, very clear. So things are still not... Yeah. It all depends in November how things are going to play out. You know, today there is a lot of polling going on in terms of people saying, hey, if Obama gets elected, he won't vote. If Hillary gets elected, Obama supporters, I don't fall into that category. At this point of time, if a Democrat, uh, whoever as a nominee is, I'll vote for that person. Let me ask you this question about Obama's use of uh, social media tools, like, you know, he's using YouTube, yeah. he's got Facebook and all of that. What do you think of it? No, that is why uh, the fact that in, uh, today there is an article in uh, Mercury huh. about uh, the kind of things, uh, how Dean started. Right. So six years ago right. and he has managed to replicate and incorporate all those things uh, in terms of ensuring what why he has been so successful in this election and I think he's been more broad-based uh, I think the Hillary campaign took it for granted that uh, they will be nominated I think uh, because of the fact that they went under that premise they ran a campaign which uh, unfortunately initially they didn't know what hit them so let me ask you a final question, yeah. you know, earlier on, uh, last year and early on this year, there was a lot of uh, boo-boos made by the Obama campaign right. with reference to the Indian community. Yeah. What did you think of it? What were the boo-boos they made and what did you think no, of the, his comeback? No, no, no. See, the boo-boo that he had made, of course, uh, the, uh, the comment, uh, she's yeah. the senator from Punjab. Right. Uh, which even though it's true, you know. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> You know, even though it's true, because, see, one of the biggest contributors for Hillary is a guy called uh, Chavla. You know, Chavla is a big uh, restaurant owner uh, of Bombay Palace okay. and uh, various multiple chains in New York City. Okay. He has been a heavy uh, Clinton supporter for the past 15 to 20 years. And <coughs> that is one of the Not reasons. Not Chatwal. Chatwal, sorry. Okay. Chatwal. Chatwal yeah. was the guy. So Chatwal, you know, and that is the basis on which he was called. And I think it was a stupid thing, you know, but like anything else, you're allowed to make some stupid mistakes. The fact that whether you're able to uh, energize and bring a broad-based coalition 
in the democratic election. That is what matters. So again, I said this was my final, but this yeah. will be my final. Yeah. Why then hasn't Obama reached out to the Indian community? Uh, at this point of time, uh, like anything else, uh, you know, it is like uh, why do the uh, Republicans don't go after the black vote? Because uh, Kadesia, whatever happens, uh, you know, they feel... Uh, no, but there's been a change, you know. The South used to be a democratic stronghold. Right. It's changed now. The no. South has become more Republican. So no, there have no, been no. all these different patterns that have emerged in the last 20 no, no. years. But the South, you know, the white majority still continues to vote for the Republicans. But the blacks, today, if you take the, la the last primaries, 90% uh, voted either for Hillary or uh, Obama. So, in come general election, if Obama is the nominee, uh, I think uh, the blacks will vote in, in mass. Whether the Latinos and other things, they will vote, that remains to be seen. But whether they have a choice or not, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Go Obama. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah.